Today's mug day. So the question is, why do I love meetup games? Honestly, it's pretty simple. The camaraderie, social aspect, and the gambling atmosphere. More important than all of that is the simple fact that it's one of the only or few ways that I can actually connect to you, the viewer, the member of the c 2 Familia, is through the game of poker, right? That's what we all have in common. When you sit at the table and you play poker, we share that one thing, the game of Texas Hold'em. I mean, PLO's great too, but I suck at that. Welcome back, everyone. Today's a really, really, really special episode. Our first meetup game here at The Hustler, which is, as you guys know, been the home of all meetup games West Coast, specifically Southern California. Let's hop into the very first hand of the session. The double straddle is on, which is up to $10 or something like that. I find myself here in the cutoff with Queen 10. I decide to make it $30. Go. Only the first straddle. If I had the button make the call, there comes 10-9 deuce rainbow. A great flop for us as we flop top pair, good kicker. The straddler actually leads out for $50. I have only $250 in my stack here, so I decide to just rip it all in. $250 is a new price of poker. The straddle call here, everyone else folds, and the board runs out. Not in our favor. Our opponent ends up showing ace-10 for top pair, better kicker. Good hand to you, sir. Just like that, 0 for 1 on the session. Move it through these hands, rapid fire in this following hand. The triple straddle is on here. A couple of limbs to me in the second straddle. I decide to isolate to 75 bucks. The triple straddler out of nowhere ends up throwing in the old three bet to 210 with the action back to me. The triple straddler, who knows what he can have? Who knows what I can have? I decided to just throw it all in here for $510. The action is going crazy. My blood is flowing. And back abs, which is the moniker of our opponent here, is probably capable of having a worse hand. And maybe sometimes he just can fold, hopefully. Uh, this is not one of those times as he ends up making the call here. We end up deciding to run it one time. Our opponent ends up showing pocket aces. We're going to need quite a bit of help. The flop comes queen nine eight, giving us a sliver of hope as we now flop ourselves a gutter ball. But unfortunately, today is not going to be our day just like that, we are into this game for $1,000. Have to add on another 500 bucks. Oh my word. 0 for 2. Two all-ins to start the session, and it's not gone in our favor. Obviously, things are going to be a little more ridiculous, considering it is my meetup game. My goal is to make everyone excited, happy, entertained. At the end of the day, we don't get to do these very often. So when we do, I've got to be a great host. And if that means I punt off my stack to a couple of subscribers, hey... It's all in good fun and makes for a really good vlog. In this next hand, there is no straddle here, and I look down at pocket Kirons, pocket kings. In middle position, I make it $15 to go. Two late position players make the call. And we're going off to a flop that comes five deuce deuce, which is pretty reasonable. There's two diamonds out there. I see bet for 30 bucks. Only the second player decides to make the call. And the turn card comes, the queen of spades, bringing it back to a flush draw. I decided to throw out a bet here of $65. Our opponent decides to call, and the river comes out. A pretty gnarly one as it comes to seven of diamonds. I decided to just check it over to our opponent. Unfortunately, he ends up checking it back instantly, which makes me obviously realize I have the best hand. I show it, and it is in fact good. Our opponent shows a pair of nines. We could have got a lot more money if the river card did not come a diamond. Either way, happy to win that hand. Well, with how great things have gone to this point, obviously sarcasm, Hopefully we can turn it around after being able to build on a little bit of momentum after winning the previous hand. In this next hand, middle position makes it $50 to go. I'm here on the button with queen nine offsuit. This is what you call perfectly in meetup game range. Queen nine. I think you can make a straight with this hand. So we're going to go ahead and make the call for $15, the small blind and the straddle call. We're going off to a flop that comes 9-4 deuce. We are in a pretty interesting situation where the initial raiser decides to see bet here for $30. A little bit on the bigger side here. I decide to make the call the small blind calls as well, which is actually a friend of the vlog. I mean, everyone here is a friend of the vlog, but our friend of the vlog in this specific case, actually a rocket scientist. Shout out to you. You know who you are. The turn card comes a six of clubs. Doesn't change a whole lot of anything here unless somebody has 3-5, which I mean, come on. Maybe they have it. They watch my vlogs. Either way. 
Our opponent is not stopping the betting train as he decides to bet out all in. $132 to go. I didn't make a meetup game to flop top pair with a good kicker and fold, so I end up making the call for $132. And the small blind goes deep into the tank. A rocket scientist friend is probably trying to decipher the Da Vinci Code. In reality, it's just a game of poker. After a little bit of thinking, he decides to make the call, and the river card comes three ways and a jack of clubs. Unfortunate, because now we beat one less hand, which would be jack nine. I check it back, and I show my hand, and would you believe it? It is good. We are now batting 500 for the session. Anyone batting 500 would be going to the Hall of Fame at this point, so let's hope to continue on this good streak. Okay, whoa, we are... There we go. The reason why we're putting a brief pause on today's video is because I wanted to let you guys know about the podcast that we're hosting. We posted episode two, but that's on our second channel on Close to Broke Podcast. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel and like the most recent video as well as the most recent video for the Close to Broke Podcast. Make sure you leave a comment. It's the only way or the final piece of the puzzle that we can get you into the raffle or the giveaway for the money. It'd mean a lot to me if you guys went and at least gave it a shout. I think the podcast is hysterical and at least peels back the what you guys are used to seeing on Close to Broke. It's a little more off the cuff, a little more entertaining in other ways. Either way, hope you guys have a nice day. Let's get back into the video. Moving along quite quickly here, we're like three or four games into this, or three or four tables, I should say. We ended up getting over six tables to come play out at the Husser, even on a rainy day. If you guys aren't from California, that means when it rains here, specifically in Southern California, people just don't know how to drive and just stay home. So... Not a bad turnout for us, if I do say so myself, in this next hand at a new table. I raised to $15 with 8-9 of clubs here as the $5 straddle is on. Middle position, late position, make the call. The small blind decides to jam for $160. With the action back on me, I didn't come all this way to fold suited connectors. I end up re-jamming here, which is equivalent to about five or $600, as I have everyone else in the hand covered. Middle position folds and late position is deep into the tank. And you guys can hear from the audio. I end up offering my opponent a deal here, letting him know that, hey, if he doesn't want to go all in, it's not a big deal. I'm happy to take back my all in and just call. Oh, no. I would if, 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 no, if he wasn't. Oh, my oh, thing. No, no, no. I raised. I raised. You know, this is dream big. 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 It's happened big. Oh, it's because I know I'm behind. <laughs> Anything can happen on the flop, yo. Sure. If you want, because everybody else folded, I like it. I'll take back. My all in, and we could just do it for his if you want to gamble. If you like like to gamble. Let's gamble, bro. Let's go. Do it. Get Take it, it in there. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in. If you want to do that, yeah. well, how much I is that? I want triple up. I love that. Sorry, all in. Yeah, my boy. All in yeah. minimal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I want. Do you like it? That was My hand is 50. There we go. Like I said, my goal here is to have a good time and have some fun and spread the gambling joy that is poker. Our opponent thinks that that's a fair deal and makes the call. We're going three ways and then we have agreed to check down the rest of the hand between me and the other player. We end up deciding to run out two boards. We end up losing the top board, looking to somehow chop here. We're losing because we have nine high. It's pretty hard to, to win on that board. But on the second board, we end up flopping top pair of nines here. Our opponent in late position shows pocket sevens, and our opponent from the small blind shows ace, deuce of hearts. He flopped us straight on the top board. We are not sweating a our top pair on the second board. We end up holding in a massive spot here. We end up chopping a pretty decent pot. All is good. That ends well. Everyone loves a chopped pot. At this point, I am wheeling and dealing, making deals left and right. I feel like I am that guy that just... The, what is it an auctioneer like I got one over there two two over there three hundred over there I'm just it's really going crazy I think that's the benefit of having your own meetup game is that things just kind of we're just making shit up as it goes either way in this following hand there is a double straddle to ten dollars which I find myself in early position makes it thirty dollars to go the button on the small blind make the call I call we're going off to a flop that is absolutely outstanding Jack, Jack, seven with two spades, a flush draw. Some straight draws exist, but we have trips here. With the action checked over to the button player, he bets pretty big here. Sizable bet of $80. With the action back on me, I decide to just jam all in. Our opponent has about $500 behind. No one else in the hand seems to be interested. Everyone else folds and gets back to the button who goes deep into the tank. After it looks like he's ready to fold, I end up offering him a 
opportunity at a lifeline. I say, hey, all right, I'll make my raise to $150. We'll go ahead and check it down. I don't want to lose the action here. He ends up agreeing. He thinks that's a fair deal. The turn card comes in nine, which ends up giving me the absolute nutter butters. I end up showing my hand pretty quickly. Our opponent chuckles to himself and says that he was on a flush draw. Gonna go ahead and win that pot. Like I said here, I might as well find myself on storage where... Oh, 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 oh. Mike, I fucked up again. Mike, I fucked up again. Like I said, I might find myself on storage wars by the end of this season. Wait, they got canceled. Hitting the latter half of today's session, we've still got a ton of more excitement to go. This table has been an absolute roller coaster. We were down quite a bit, but we are now battling our way back. In this following hand, there was this $5 straddle on and... Under the gun decides to limp here. I decide to isolate with pocket jacks, pocket jiggities to $35. The small blind and the limper make the call. And the flop comes out. Not great. Ace, queen, four, rainbow. With the action checked over to me, it'd be foolish to bet. I check it back. The turn card comes the ace of diamonds. Pairing the top card is nice as it makes it a little less likely for my opponent to have an ace, obviously. And maybe a little more likely that my hand is good. With the action checked over to a friend of the vlog by the name of Poker Taco. I know very interesting you can probably even hear him in the background continuously screaming his own moniker either way he bets 70 bucks i don't think i can fold at this exact juncture considering how wacky he's been playing to this point other opponent folds the river card comes a seven of clubs once again poker taco wants to bet 120 dollars to go i think about it for a moment and realize that there is some off chance that our opponent can be betting a missed flush draw here so i decided to pay him off if he has it he has it if he doesn't then good he ends up showing queen six offsuit Limp called with the old queen six ball, um, just slightly below the computer hand, but like good enough to play. We're in a meetup game. You got to play, right? You got to get in the mix. Good hand to you, sir. Let's move on. As we can finally confirm and set it in stone, there is no proper way to play jacks, even against queen six off suit. Either way, we have found ourselves back to the first table we were at as we've done completely around here. And this table has been, has been ridiculous. So much so that about four or five new players have come to it. They've told me you've got to come back. They want to play with you, and the action is insane. Well, I can promise you guys with this next hand, oof, it is crazy. We have the $80 straddle on, so I don't even know how many straddles it takes to get the 80, like five or six, but that's the case here. The first straddle ends up calling the $80. I find myself in the second straddle with the ace seven offsuit. I decide to go all in here as, uh, yeah, we have like 540 bucks, which is good for like four big lines or something ridiculous. With the action now on the $40 straddle, he decides to just throw in the call. I feel like I'm absolutely dead here. Everyone else folds, and we're off to a runoff. Get ready to check the video for this. I got, I got do, you wanna, do you wanna run it more than once, or do you wanna run it once? Oh, Max Payne. He's in, he's in for it. All right, all right. Max Payne Saturday. I think you I'm really dead. I I'm dead. A massive pot not going in my favor there. We're going to have to live with it, I suppose. But either way, you can never, ever, ever not invite action. Unfortunate for us there is we couldn't take that pot down. It would have really solidified our session in the proper fashion. But... In the final hand of today's session, once again, the $80 straddle is on. Poker is alive and well, specifically in any close to broke meetup game that you can find near you. One thing I think that my poker vlogs seem to entice is a ridiculous amount of shenanigans, specifically in the straddling variety. The cutoff decides to limp here. I end up jamming $517 with pocket sevens. Again, we just don't have that many big blinds. It, it can't be that bad, right? The opponent that had 9-3 offs who decides to rejam somewhere in the neighborhood of 4K or something like that. Everyone else folds and the opponent in the cutoff that limped end up told, telling and showing the partner next to him that he folded pocket queens. So look, if our, if our jam is getting pocket queens to fold, we can't be doing all that bad. The flop ends up coming jack 9-5 and our opponent ends up telling us that he has a pair. I tell him that a pair is probably good here. The turn card comes at three of spades, and at this point, he ends up telling me that he turns a flush draw as well. Feeling pretty grim here. The river card comes a jack of hearts, so maybe he doesn't have a jack here. What pair does he have? He ends up showing ace five of spades here. We end up winning this one, and finally, a pot is coming in our direction. What a way to end off today's meetup game. Things did not go all in our favor. 
Granted, we were giving a ton of action and I ended up having quite a bit of fun. Still a lot of splashing going around, but duty calls, we've got to head over to work now. This was a really special day for me for many reasons. The, the fact that I hosted a meetup game, meeting you guys, it was a really special day. And I'm really, really thankful and grateful for the hustler allowing me to do this, for helping me in many ways, and, and more importantly, for the lovely people that came out and supported and everyone that couldn't come out that still sent their best wishes. Either way, I want to throw it over to me now uh, so you guys can see everything wrapped up and we can talk a little more about the session, about the importance of today. Okay, so as you guys can see, a little bit of a different location, not at the Hustler, but we have some talking to do. Today was a lot of fun. It's just one of the few ways we can interact and, and mingle and be on the poker table. So I had a really fun time today at today's meetup game, although things didn't go mostly in my favor. I will say we ended off on a high note, as you guys saw there, an absolute blast. The one thing I want to continue to press to you guys is something very important. Moving forward, there's going to be some crazy sessions moving forward. Will that do good or bad? We're gonna have to see how that goes until then uh we were into today's game for 2000 out for 1054 i hope you guys have a lovely day stay happy stay healthy and more importantly run good at the tables y'all thank you so much again for everyone that came out and supported today's uh meetup game it means the world to me i hope to see you guys soon at a felt near you